live here on I Follow Hatters with uh, a very happy uh, Luton Town manager, Nathan Jones. Nathan, a 5-0 victory here at Swindon. It was goalless at half-time. Did you really see that second half coming like that? Well, if we do all we, what we were good at, then like, you don't, don't you envisage like, scoring five and, and things, but you envisage us winning the game because say, first half, we were so deep. We, we were just, you know, just content to, to not be on the front foot and to, and to, to as I said, to allow them to... To our midfield to head the ball. So as soon as our centre half stepped on the yard, we were able to get up the pitch slightly more. And then uh, as soon as we started squeezing with, you know, squeezing the pitch a little bit more and being a little bit more on the front foot, then we got a grip of the game. And that's what we didn't do first off. We didn't. And I mean, look, we, we still we're probably slightly the better side, but we just weren't anywhere near on our front foot. Um, second half then, let, let's focus on that. I mean, when the goal started, to be fair, Swindon perhaps a, a really good start from them in that second period. And then James Collins picks out a, a very good strike with his left foot, doesn't he? Well, they got a corner early on, which if that constitutes a good start, then fine, you know, they, they, they did. But second half was, was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. And shoulder a good side goal. We pressed, we stepped on, we won the first balls, far more, got on seconds. And then once we got in the final third enough, and we have quality to her teams. The goal from James Collins was class. Uh, it really was. Um, well, uh, to be fair, I think there's a few class. Finish from Harry Corn, it was class. Finish from uh, Oli, uh, Elliot Lee was class. And then the move and the, and the build up for, for Hilt School was, was wonderful. And I said, look, it was reminiscent of the extra game where we came and blew him away. And that's what kind of happened today. But look, I was, I was slightly disappointed with, with the first half because we just, it was like a little boxing match. We were just seeing how, how, what they would do rather than just really taking the bull by the horns and going after him. We did that second half and we won the game. Obviously, a key half-time speech from yourself to get the players sorted for that second period. Then, well, it was just two little things, really. One, can we just, I think, squeeze the pitch a little bit more so that we, are, so instead of Luke Berry challenging for the ball, I got Aaron Sheehan challenging the ball. Then, when the ball lands, then it's landing to my front men, and 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 sort of Luke Berry can can challenge from there. But what, what, what we, we were just deep first half, and, and and then we didn't move it with with enough conviction. I think we got in some real good areas, and got, so second half we stepped on the yard, showed a little bit more quality, and then so that's. That happened. Some great goals, whether it was actually the strike or the build-up to it, and, and all four of your, your main four forwards scored today. Um, you know, James Collins, Danny Hilton, Harry Cornick off the bench, and then Elliot Lee as well. I mean, terrific to have that uh, oh, goal power in your side. That's wonderful to have the front two we did, and we asked, we, you know, we did our meeting today and said, could they both score? Um, and, and they did. And then to bring Harry on, we changed shapes. We what we do, we want to take the game away from him, which Harry then did. And then Elliot came on, and, and this, you know he's been in fine form, Elliot, and a great finish, great move, great finish. And then look, it could have been more as well. Again, not being greedy, not being disrespectful to anyone, but it should have been more. Harry got in down the right hand side, should have picked tilts out. Berry's point blank, they should have scored. So it could be far more convincing as well. But look, I'm, I'm delighted. I mean, I really was. I'm delighted with the, with the win. Off the top of my head, I do believe that's equalled the uh, the biggest ever away win for Luton Town in the Football League. I mean, just how important is that to you as well? No, not really. I mean, it's three points. We won again. We've we've gone another point further away from fourth place, which is which is good. Um, we've extended the goal difference. We've shown away from home that we're we, we're a fantastic side. Um, we really are, and, look, and that's that's the only thing. If anything else is is a bonus, you know. I, I, I don't look at those things, but it's nice to, to win the game. It's nice to win it in such a convincing fashion because second half we, we turned out we really did. And 58 goals, I think, now from 24 games this season. I mean, that's quite an incredible feat, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and uh, we're proud of that. And I said, I keep saying we work on it. We work tirelessly and relentlessly on our attacking play. We've got good players, we've good players that want to get better, that want to improve. That you know, and, and, and they're doing it, and at the minute they're in good form. And then the best thing about it is we've got competition, so that you know when I do get to bring Danny Hilton off because he's on a booking and, and so on, then I, uh, you know Elliot Lee comes on and scores, and we can change shape and have different things, and, and Harry Corney scores. So it's it's wonderful to have. But not only that, but listen, we kept another clean sheet, which is the foundation of everything. And I thought Glen Ray was absolutely immense in the middle of the park. The tackle for, mm -hmm. um, I think it's for Cornick's goal. I think was was brilliant because they can break from there. You know, we like to count. It's a bit of a counter attack, and we like to finish the action. We didn't, and then just as they're going to break, he steps in. But it's class, absolute class, and he was immense all day. Really, really was, and it, it epitomised the difference in first and second half so with his header there, where he roars. And just, he, was, he was nonchalant and bat and, and won the header, and that epitomised. That showed me that we're on the front foot. Great performance all round.
grip performance. You made a big decision to uh, have them in on uh, Christmas Day after the last few Boxing Day performances, and um, that's really a bit backed up with your thoughts on that to, to keep them fresh and to keep them 100% uh, focused, doesn't it? Yeah, look, it's important time Christmas, it really is, because they, they give up so much, and we ask them to give up so much, and they do, and their families are there for them and, and sacrifice a lot for them, so it's important Christmas time. But promotion's important, so it's another step towards that, and, and that's, what we have to, that's what we have to try and do. Um, but no, look, we, we got them in because it was the right thing to do, you know, physiologically. And they did, and they came in, and they trained well yesterday, and they had a bit of fun as well and, and stuff, but it was just to get it out. And we came down here, got the journey out of the legs. And I think, actually, if we do it like we did with this such a short journey, I think it's actually probably better than being at home because at home they still they stay at home they do the journey on the sat on the on the morning of the game and so on so it's it's it worked out well and I said they showed they were fresh legs and then when I brought the others on I mean, we, we, we looked like we were really on the front foot and I'm, and I'm proud of them today. A lot of Luton fans getting very wet behind that goal on the open stand there but boy did they have a, a second half to celebrate five goals at that end of the field and a word on the numbers that have travelled today. <laughs> Same, same as always, isn't it? They're, they're fantastic. They're fantastic away fa fans. Fantastic fans there all the time. But you know, to, to travel down here and and make the noise they did and uh, was, was was wonderful. And to be fair to the team, they give them something really to get behind, uh, especially second half and give them that. And it made all the, the wet weather. And I, I got as wet as them yeah. to be fair. So um, it, it made it all all worthwhile. And I said, I'll, uh, I, I'm freezing cold and, and wet. But to be fair, the second half won me right up as well. Seven goals, two clean sheets. It's been a cracking Christmas weekend. We now look ahead to the New Year weekend, don't we, with another double header, Port Vale and then Lincoln on the on the on the Monday. Yeah, well, look, you know, we've got Port Vale next, which is a massive, massive game. I mean, it's a crazy schedule, as I've said. Whoever thought this up needs needs a real good talking to, but it's what we we do, and we've had a real good um, uh, we've had a you know good Christmas period so far. But we want to make sure we finish the year in in good form. Whatever happens, we're going to finish on top of the league, but we would like to extend that. You know, not just uh, uh, you know, not 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 just. Or it'll be a point ahead, or whatever. We, we want to make sure we, we finish, but Port Vale's going to be a very, very difficult game up there, you know, it, it really is. And uh, But we're, we're looking forward to it because I said we couldn't be in any better form. Lovely, thanks very much, Nathan. Cheers. Just, just quickly on the defensive, as you mentioned, it's 12 clean sheets in the season now. I mean, Mullins and Sheehan have really formed a sort of partnership in the last couple of weeks, haven't they? Well, they have, they did it last year for times, but Johnny picked up a little injuries and so on, and it was a little bit, you know, we, we're very. We're very blessed with the back four and the players we have to bring in. And bear in mind the Stacey who's missing today, Cuthbert's missing today, and uh, and so, so the competition we have for those places is is, is brilliant. But Johnny Mullins is brought in here because of experience and his quality, and he's been promoted from this league a number of times. And we hope he gets another one. And Port Vale, I mean, they've picked up, haven't they, under Aspin since he's taken over? Yeah, they have. They they have. It'd be a difficult. It's always a difficult place to go. And I've been there as a player, and it was very difficult. Every time I went there as a player, and it'll be difficult on uh, on, on Saturday. But look, I'm, I'm sure they will look at us and think, well. It's going to be a difficult encounter as well because uh, we're, we're in decent form.